Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are making our last Valentine's Day balloon garland. I am diving into pinks and lilacs and purples and shiny things. This color palette is so pretty. And on top of this color palette, I want to review and use new product from the Wood Shop Guy company. This is the company that makes wooden customized signs. This is such a great idea. Idea. you can order one sign for your party and later on save that sign obviously and use the sign as the part of your home decor awesome idea right double use out of one product i will link this company in the description under the video all the balloons that i will be using in today's video came from laura dale paper and balloon company i love that website they have a huge selection of balloons types of balloons other supplies for your parties if you're a new customer to laura dale paper and balloon company you can always use my code anastasia10 for 10 percent off at checkout i will link and list everything that i will be using in today's video for today's garland in the description under the video so go ahead and check it out and without any further ado let's go here is what I'm planning to use for today's balloon garland. 95% of these balloons came from Lauradale Paper and Balloon Company. The rest of 5% came from different places. So let's break this down. First, Lauradale Paper and Balloon Company. This beautiful chrome mauve color, 11 inch variations of pink in different sizes. 5, 11, 16, 17 lots of pink balloons love it then this guy over here came from amazon 12 inch hot pink balloons i had them forever and i thought it would look beautiful in this garland with this color palette then we have pearl lavender color and 5 11 and 16 inch and going to our last items they came from angie's these gold chrome balloons 12 inch and variations of sizes and colors in orbs balloons sizes are 7 16 and 22 inches in this violet and pink colors on top of this i want to use electric balloon pump balloon tying tool 20 or 30 pound fishing line low temperature glue gun and a hand pump to blow our orbs balloons before we're going to deal with our balloons i really want to unpack this package from the wood shop guys so let's do this together finally unpacked my sign it was very very well packaged so that's awesome this sign came on this backboard right here to make sure your letters won't bend and crack so that's a good idea i am loving how thick these letters are look at this it's pretty thick you know you still want to handle these words carefully not like you know flopping them around in it because it's wood it can break but you guys overall the quality so far i am loving it's a thick wood nice cutouts very sharp you can see everything very well every letter you can understand paint work is beautiful as well i am excited to remove my actual sign let's do this together and see how it's gonna look on my darker floor
thing that I'm doing with these gold balloons, you guys. Um, they are blowing very funky and to fix that shape, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So blow your balloon up. Do you see what I'm talking about? Really funny shape. So you let some air out and you push your air as far into the balloon as you can. See how long of a neck I have here and then tie it. And here is how I'm blowing these balloons a little too big, but it's fine. And then I can take, if I will be like pairing them, I can take and tie them, pair them together and make this into like clusters of four or pairs. I will leave them individually and I think I will just uh, fill in spaces later with them just to add pops of color. to construct our balloon garland i took my fishing line today i am working with a 30 pound fishing line 30 pound fishing line works just as great as 20 pound i am out of my 20 so i'm using 30. i tied my fishing line to my first pair now i am taking second pair putting it right on top and pinching these two pairs with my fingers together taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the newly placed balloons once push your balloons together pull on your fishing line be careful how hard you pull on your fishing line because fishing line and curling ribbon can't cut your balloons again take your fishing line and wrap around second newly placed balloon push your balloons together pull on your fishing line and basically that's all you need to do with your balloon garland secure your balloon garland cut a long piece of a fishing line hold it with one hand with your other hand take the tail and wrap around one of the balloons now you created this loop over here take the tail and feed it through the loop pull on your tail that way you are creating knots and you will secure your balloon garland do that a couple or a few times just to make sure and you're good to go i literally never told you what i'm planning to do so here is my palette i am making my balloon garland and i want to drape it over my mantle and drape this garland down and build it up a little bit and out so we'll see how it's gonna go let's uh, go to our next step this balloon garland looks like a typical balloon column i don't want that so i want to shuffle a few balloons around just take a balloon and switch places with other balloons. You know what I mean? That will give your balloon garland a more uh, curvier look and more interesting shape. Here is how I attached my balloon garland. I used the command hook that I placed on my mental top of my mental took extra piece of fishing line and tied it to that command hook so as here let me show you this is my command hook straight to the wall with fishing line and it's it's holding up really really good all right so fun part begins we are taking our leftover balloons so i am taking two um pairs and i am interwining them together to create clusters of four quads like these and then i'm taking my low temperature glue gun and i am filling in spaces building and doing what i think i would need to do for this balloon garland if you're not comfortable working with a low temperature glue gun then use rubber bands rubber bands are such a great idea you can remove your balloons easily from your base and replace them 
If uh, you're not comfortable with rubber bands, use glue dots. Use a lot of glue dots for one quad to make sure you're gonna glue them and to make sure the next day you're gonna wake up and you won't see any fallen balloons. I have some balloons left, so I want to complement this balloon garland with something on the side over here. So I'm going to take my leftover balloons, I'm going to take my 30 pound fishing line and I'm going to build something. I don't know, tie, wrap, pushing pull. We'll figure something out, right? This is what I have for you guys today. I am completely and totally in love with this setup. I am loving this idea of having two garlands, like a main garland and a little piece of a garland. I will be using this idea for my daughter's birthday that is coming up next month. I love the quality of these balloons. Thank you, Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company for sending me these balloons. I lost, overall, I lost five latex balloons and one orbs balloon. I constructed my balloon garlands with my fishing line and I attached extra balloons, filler balloons with my low temperature glue gun. I did use glue dots to place my orbs balloons to my garland. I don't know why. I am a little bit afraid to use low temperature glue gun on my orbs balloons because I had a few of them popped before from low temperature glue gun. I'm not sure why. This guy over here, this is the second balloon. I did switch my first balloon to a second new balloon because first one started deflating and I tried to salvage that balloon by putting more air in and it just exploded on me. So new purple balloon. I am in love with the sign that I have here, my valentine from the wood shop guy. Thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful sign. I am taking a risk here because I attached this sign with my low temperature glue gun to my balloons. I don't know. I don't want this sign to fall and break, but I am taking a big risk. If you have a chance to hang your sign from your balloon garland or or from your backdrop please uh, it's better to hang it than you know gluing like i did here because a little 
bump on your balloon garland can send this sign falling and probably it will break. I will link and list everything in the description under the video and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video as well. Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my take on my last Valentine's Day balloon garland. Let me know what you think about this creation of mine. Was it helpful? Was it interesting to watch? Was it inspiring? If it was and if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be there to answer them and to help you out to the best of my ability. If you're new here, you guys, just hit the subscribe button for more videos and I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye!